Who's almost ready for the show? Me. Yeah. Oh. Not too many of us can roll out of bed, Hi. put on a pair of pants and a wrinkled <laughs> t-shirt, and head on out to work. Uh, who's seen me before? About half of you? Okay. But you this guy, Ken, <laughs> Eric Noss, Sorry about that, guys. It won't is the great zucchini. Oh, oh, oh. He's been entertaining kids in the Washington area for more than 20 years. <laughs> a Montgomery County native, he started out as a preschool teacher and a party host at the now defunct Discovery Zone. It was through those jobs he realized he had a way with kids. People started asking him to come to their homes to do private parties. And that's how the idea for the Great Zucchini was conceived. Who is the Great Zucchini? Um, you know, I, I'm actually just, uh, you know, a uh, regular guy. You know, as you see, this is my outfit. Like, I don't, I, I wear a t-shirt every time. I don't dress up. <laughs> and that was my theory going in, because I was, you know, you, you never really see, you never really see a father having a conversation with a clown, like sitting there and talking, you know? And then you don't see like him sitting there talking to like Feathers the Clown, talking about sport. But when I come in, I mean, parents are like, Zucchini, man, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. You know, it's like a, almost like a, a friend's coming over to do the kid's party. Try not to press that too hard, because then I'll start dancing. <laughs> wow! He does anywhere from six to seven shows a weekend. Hold oh, there, right there, come. All right, guys, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. What? And has what? events during the week. What? Hi! At Georgetown Hill Preschool in Rockville, he had his audience roaring with laughter. Guys, before we get. After his first trick. There's like one warm up trick that I do that just. I'm just going to have the kids right, right away. Oh! <laughs> the thing with this age um, that I realize is that. Most entertainers don't have a show geared for this age. Like you, you, you know, I know some phenomenal magicians. And as you see my show, you'll realize I'm not even really what you would call your standard magician. And that's clear from his bag of tricks that's less than organized. Looking at this huge suitcase full yeah. of all kinds of odds yeah. and ends, yeah. we're setting up your show here. Talk a little bit about what is in this bag. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, uh, my magician friends, like I have magician friends from like all over the w world actually. And I know a lot of people. And, you see my setup and they're like, what is going on in here? It's like chaotic and stuff. <laughs> and it's sort of, uh, it's just me. I mean, I buy random stuff, I, I throw it in there. All the magician fancy cases that you buy break down in like a day or a week. This suitcase is the sturdiest thing I've ever had to uh, carry my things in. His tricks are not what you would call sophisticated. A jack-in-the-box. What they, what they react to is my reaction to it popping out. So like if I go like this and I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> You know, and I jump back, then they're laughing because how can he be afraid of this little thing? Boom! So that's what they're sort of laughing about. A trick bag. Put those beads in the bag for me, buddy. Excellent. Everybody say, Great Zucchini, what's in the bag? Oh, hey, what is that? What is that, Kyle? Come on. And a new find. For the last time, no. You, the no you, button. You just go like this. No. And then I'll just hide it behind my back and I'll be like, hey, are you having a good time today? And then, yeah, let me, no. And then I'll be like, you know, who's, who is that? Not a fancy act, but one that keeps the audience intoxicated with laughter. Oh, hold this right here, but don't take it yet. Okay. <laughs> it's obvious that he has a magical connection with the children he is performing for. You guys ready? Everybody say, Abracadabra! All right, on the count of three, underwear! Underwear! Something that he says is so much more than just being funny. I think it's empty though, go, wow! A lot of people say, you know, they just think, you know, you're squirting a toilet out at everybody. And Sorry about that, guys, oh, oh man, man! And you can entertain kids for 45 minutes. That's not true, there's actually a lot of, um, I'm always analyzing the crowd. I'm looking over here, I'm looking over here, I'm looking over here, I'm trying to connect with each of the kids in the audience. Who wants to help me out up here? What's your name? Sean. Come on up here, Sean. Tell everybody really loud what your favorite color is. Yellow! I'm trying to see how we're, you know everybody's doing. I'm trying to see when they need to move. And as you see, you know, uh, you know I'll, I'll move them a little bit, I'll, da I'll dance them. Oh man. He's performed at the White House. Whoa! Embassies. Wait! The CIA. Calvin! Calvin! I lost Calvin. Guys, I can't find him. Neighborhood events. Oh, 
Obama. Hospitals and for thousands of families in Montgomery County, which easily makes him the most successful children's entertainer in this area. 500 shows a year. Yeah. That's a lot. How did you get the word out and get your numbers up so high? Um, well, I just, uh, word of mouth is great. I'm all, all, pretty much all word of mouth now. Actually, I am all word of mouth. Like, I don't, you won't see a print ad for me anywhere. Um, and I just, uh, it's, you know, I do six to seven shows a weekend. Then, you know, there's 30, 40 kids at that show. Then they want me to their parties and they want me to parties. And it's just a constant, you know, circulation. District, I don't think it works anymore. And a business plan? Not a problem when you're as famous as he is. You are the one and only employee of the great Zucchini. Yeah, you yeah. are everything. If there's anybody else out there, I, they're an imposter. <laughs> Don't start singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. For now, the great Zucchini is happy with where he is at this point in his life. And he has no plans to leave the area. This one man band says that this is his nine to five and there's nothing quite like it. You are very successful, but to you it seems to me that it's more than just that. You really do love what you do. Really do, really do. It's a cool feeling. I mean, I, not, not to sound cheesy, but it is kind of a rush. Whoa! I mean, I love, I mean, the kids are rolling and I love it. There's no backup plan anyways. There's, like, this is, there's no plan B for me. This is literally all I know how to do.